to register. Funding college for two years, courtesy of the government. President Obama is proposing making community college education free. Local 15's Jasmine Williams says Alabama will not offer students that option because the state can't afford it. That's tonight's Reality Check. Well, the president proposes state and federal governments will foot the bill for free tuition, but Congressman Bradley Byrne and other officials say the plan simply won't work. So I ask the question, are there other options for the state of Alabama? Terry Jackson is a student at Bishop State Community College. He's depending solely on financial aid to foot this year's bill for tuition. If President Obama's plan is put in place, that man. could change the way Jackson and thousands of others pay for class. I mean, it would be great for people who want to go to college and succeed in what they want to be. Put simply, what I'd like to do is to see the first two years of community college free for everybody who's willing to work for it. Under the president's proposal, students who maintain a 2.5 GPA and attend school at least half time will get two years of free community college classes. Federal funding would cover 75% of the tuition, while participating states would be expected to pay the rest. How much will it cost? Alabama Congressman Bradley Byrne estimated if passed, Alabama would have to commit millions of dollars to the colleges, money the state doesn't have. In fact, just last week, the governor said he will propose raising taxes in the upcoming legislative session to help overcome a $700 million budget shortfall. And as we've been hearing from the governor and legislative leaders from the last few weeks, and they're correct, Alabama's broke. I mean, we can't afford what we've got now, much less find the money to pay for a new entitlement program. Yeah, I definitely would uh, like to see it achieved. Napoleon Bracey is a member of the House Ways and Means Committee. He knows the state's budget situation, but says he needs to do more research to see if funding a free college program is, quote, doable. I'm not sure because I'll have to look at the bill in a little bit more detail, um, but I'm interested to see what the governor's plan is uh, with his budget uh, for the state. Congressman Byrne also knows a thing or two about the two-year college system. He was a chancellor of the system for two years. The president wants to raise taxes to pay for it. And I don't think that the best thing we can do for the taxpayers of America is to raise their taxes. The president's funding plan resembles similar programs already in place in some states. Hope scholarships in Georgia help students pay for college using money from the lottery. In Michigan, Promise scholarships use some of the property tax revenue to send their students to school. We're going to fund higher education. Governor Robert Bentley was non-committal when we asked him about going along with the president's plan. We, we feel very strongly uh, about uh, funding them properly. And we are at the present time, and I'm, I'm not at, I'm not privileged right now to tell you exactly what we're doing, but yes, we are, we're going to do some things that are very special for our two-year college systems and later for our four-year college systems. Byrne is encouraging the state to invest in skills training programs at schools to accommodate the needs of area employers instead of spending money to provide free education to the masses. Let's go find people who need jobs, give them the skill training in those skill areas so they can fill the job openings that we have here. Jackson is currently doing just that. He's enrolled in courses to become a welder, and even his plan isn't cheap. An estimated two years at Bishop State Community College will cost him $6,000 in tuition alone, a bill this Bishop State student will have to pay on his own once he receives his degree. Now, Byrne said he agrees with the president and that they do need to find more ways to fund college education in our area. Nailing down just how Alabama can afford to get it done remains the big question, Greg. It certainly does. All right, Jasmine, thanks. If you have a story you want us to investigate or an issue that needs to be addressed by our advocacy team, let us know. We'll get you answers. Yeah, call our Reality Check hotline. The number is 877-315-7268.